All right, gang. So this is here is actually my um, every panel I have. So that one has uh, 14 by f um, 14 quarter 36.5, and this is actually my uh, bottom number three. So if I'm going here, a little bit of engineering here. So you got number three there, and yeah, I could actually do it all over uh, Illustrator, as you see here is actually Illustrator, but um, you know, I like to do it manual as the old way we used to do. So that number three over here is actually the cubby. That's the, the bottom of the cubby right here. So this is the, that's, that's that piece over here. So uh, as you can see, and that's fun. Now you've got the other the other piece right here, which is uh, top plates. So that's number uh, eight. So if I'm going to my plan, again here. Uh, so number three, number eight. So that's the top drawer, uh, not the drawer, sorry, but the 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 top uh, right here. So that's going to be a place as you saw before. So that's that plate right here. Then underneath here, you've got number six. You can see it, number six. So number six, that's the top of the drawer here. And there's gonna be other ones like that. So as you can see, this is a um, uh, eight footer. We already cut it out in length uh, where I bought the wood. Just it's easier than for us after we just cut it out in in here so birch wood very beautiful there's a couple of little notch like that but in general it's very nice so that's the one of the pieces uh, as you can see here that's the uh, that's the bottom plates I you saw that before so this is actually the other plate the rest of them so you're gonna see it it's gonna be pretty nice, pretty fun. I'm not gonna do that here, as you can see, because this place is pretty nice, so <laughs> we're not gonna do it here. We're gonna do it in the garage. Uh, so, yeah, we gotta work it out. So that's the big piece, uh, which we need. This is actually for the bottom here, right? So, I don't know if you could see it, but that's gonna be this. Uh, so that's the bottom. That's going to be pretty big, and we're going to have another section, which is going to be, uh, you know, the piano uh, piano uh, inch I showed you. So that's the idea. And there's gonna, there's a see that's the cubby. This is actually what am I doing? The second section. You see here the small six three quarter. That's the cubby under the full plate. So that's the small cubby here. So that's seventy. 675 that's going to be the cover the cubby where the old seat back seat used to be and uh, the latch it's going to be here so that's it there's there's another piece here that's garbage that's garbage so uh that's another piece this one we're going to double check but i think it's the drawer for this one so uh if my memory is good that one is actually a pretty long one Ah, oh, no, 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 I just realized. That's the 24. That's the, yeah, 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 sorry. The 24 is actually right here. So that thing over there, that's what it is on the other side. What is in gray? That's the platform. What is in blue is actually the cubby, the top cubby. What is in green, that's the bottom cubby. Uh, what is in uh, purple or pink I should say no pink it looks it looks red almost but whatever that's the um, drawer and uh, there's gonna be a tablet I'm gonna put this is an actually an extra I was not supposed to have but tablet over there um, so behind my seats so for example I'm just gonna put that right here okay so imagine that's my that's the back seats all right, I need to put my laptop 
as the back seat. So what's going to happen is there's going to be uh, two wires and I'm going to put the, the tablet around here with the, the two wire which is going to link the, the top headrest right here as an example. The top headrest is over there. There's going to be a couple of wires uh, and it's going to link. There's going to be four holes in there and that's going to be for the tablet and you're going to actually put it. This tablet will be used for, as an example, a laptop or if I want to watch a movie inside of the camper or something like that. But that's the idea. So, yeah. We're just going to continue. That's what it is. Alright, so that part is actually because right now what's going on is the 4x8, uh, the platform is actually bigger than in the back than four uh, four inches uh four feet okay so back in time subaru on each shine they have two pieces like that so actually when you look at it on one side you've got that piece then you got your lift for the this the tire um, the tire safe uh, spare tire and on the other side, you've got another one like that, but on the other side. And this is actually the piece I'm building right now. So um, that's that's the idea right here. So um, right here. So it's not going to be um, the exact thing. But at least this is a part I'm going to remove. Because when I'm going to put the big part, I'm just going to put it on the side. I'm going to add that, that one over here. So... Uh, also, we might have to actually put some spacer because if I want to uh, correct the hill I have into the Subaru, you've got a hill about, I would say, a 6% hill descent from the front seat all the way down to the back. Now, the thing is, what do I need to do is actually lift the bottom about uh, two uh, two inch so when let's say the door open and that's the the back of uh, the trunk well that piece over here needs to be lifted well not this one but because that one is on the side each side but you get the point that's going to be lift about two inch uh and diagonal so anyways so that's the part left as you can see, there's not many loss. Um, if you look at it here, one cut, one eight. If you look at it right here, same thing here, they're all the same. One cut, so I don't want to recut it out and everything, so that's going to be straightforward. This is the dimension again. Now, if I'm going on the plan, this is actually uh, the part, the gray part I showed you is actually that one. Actually, the size is not correct. So I'm just going to do the corrections over here. So that one is actually, uh, if I'm looking here, this is actually six, three quarter. And that one, if you look at it right now, it's going to go almost flush all the way there over there. And this is actually six, three quarter. So um, yeah, here. This is actually a notch like these right here. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it on the uh, spinner uh, and we'll see for the rest. But yeah, that's gonna be cut out roughly and we're gonna fit it out after. So yeah, uh, I need to correct that because this is actually six three quarter by 17 three eight. So if I'm looking at here, uh 17 oops sorry focus 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 come on uh, you got it the 375 uh, so this is actually not the, the the right one so i should say first thing first uh that one will be bigger point uh 75 so boom and actually after I've got 
you know, as an example, 3, 8, what is equal to that, blah, blah, blah. So I've got that chart over here. Uh, this is actually one of the uh, business for tools I'm going over there in, uh, in Montreal. So I don't know why it's not even focusing. Oh my God. Maybe because the, the lens is dirty. I don't know. Sorry for that. Maybe it's going to help. So we said uh, three, three eighths. So if I'm going on the on a chart, three eight, three quarter, five eight, three eight, and this is actually three seven. Oh boy, why it's not focusing? There you go, bang, three seven eight, uh, three eight, three seven five, and that's what I want. All right, so let's do the corrections here. I'm just gonna go back here. Just gonna do that corrections over here. I'm just gonna line up these two. And this is actually what is great with um, uh, Illustrator. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer, as you know. Uh, so I'm using that. CAD is actually for my car cardboard. How'd you call it? Cardboard design. My friend told me that before. Cardboard assign design, whatever that is. Anyways. So let's do that corrections over here. So I'm just gonna go here, that one, plus, let's say that one. Ah, come on. So with one, one hand, it's pretty tough. So let me try to put it over here. Let's see if that works, if it works, if it works. No? Sorry, I'm just gonna shim the camera because that's my phone right now. I'm just gonna shim it so you could actually follow me right there. There you go. That's shim. All right, so let's go here. Choose these two right here, and it's great because I could align it. So, boom! Now it's aligned. Now, just for my record, if somebody wants it. I know I'm just gonna modify it. It's not six three quarter. Uh, it's actually sorry, it's a five three quarter. So I'm just gonna put six over there. It's for my personal thing. Okay, let's go. Six. And because it's uh, this the first measure here. Sorry, you can't see it, eh? Oh my god. Not the best. Not the best. Sorry, I'm at my parents' place right now and I don't have my uh, tripod. I don't have my tripod there, but anyways. So because it's actually my first measure here, for sure I'm just gonna make sure here it's actually my first measure. So I'm just gonna go here. gonna cut right here put it at the front ah come on I said 22 huh? <coughs> sorry number 22 675 by 17 all right so that's the that's the true number all right so now oops all right I miss a phone call whatever okay so that's the idea right now for that one it looks uh Six three quarter seventeen, and we got our seventeen there, so that's gonna be fine when we're gonna cut it out. So let's continue. Great. So that's the big piece over there. The rest has been uh, actually identified with all the. Uh, so for example, this one. Uh, I'm just gonna put some lights over here. So that one, for example, number nineteen. This one is actually 14 by 14 and a, uh, in 
one eighth. So I just designed that. Little gap over there for the blade, so one eighth. <clears throat> and um, that's the arrangements for now. So these are actually the two sides for the cubby, the big cubby. So eventually, I'm I'm about to actually do my measurement on that, just to show you around. That's the side of the cubby, right? So uh, you've got two side. So this is actually the board I have right now. So um, I need I need. We said 36, just gonna go back over there. That point over there, 36.5. Ah, okay, let me just look at it here. Boom. All right, so that's gonna be better. 36.5 by 20 and uh, six eighths, if my memory's good. Six, seven, five. I don't know all of them by heart, so that's my chart. Six two five five eights. So we say that's the thickness of it. So we should have 24, 24 five eights. Let me just double check if that measurement is good. Boom on the spot. Oh yeah. So 28 and 5 eighths. So now I need to go get my 36.5, right? So let's go here. Sorry for my, uh, right. So 36.5, I think I'm coming down to you guys. Looks like it, 36.5, that's roughly here, 36.5, uh, yeah, we said 36.5, so that's the first side of the cup, boom, ooh la 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 la. I didn't have the chance to get my tripod yet. I'm still working at my parents' place. So we'll see for the rest. Just gonna take a square, a big square like that. The old daddy square. And we're just gonna go that way. Inside, please. The mark is actually very tiny over there. Put it square. Oh yeah. Okay, two hands, it doesn't work. So, let's let's try one thing, okay? Let's try one thing here. Oh yeah, it's working almost. Maybe the other way around. Thirty-six. I'm not gonna go far because actually the line is actually going in diagonal. So thirty-six is over here, and then the next one. By memory, my angle was fifty, fifty degrees. If my memory is good. If my name is good. So, typically, we're going 36. That's the highest, and we're going this way. That's going to be fun to cut. That's going to be fun to cut. This way, this way. Go look at it this way. Just gonna go. Oops, sorry. Reverse. Boom. Okay. 
So if you look at it, there's an angle over there. And from the cubby, 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 where did I put my cubby? Cubby, I think, is in the car. It's in the car right now. This is the other cubby. That's the total. Yeah, I don't have it in the car. Okay. Anyway, that's the idea. So, you got the point? Let's continue. All right, all right. So they say before you cut, verify your measurement at least three times. And this is actually what happened. You know, you could go on this, like what I did, do your mats roughly, but the thing is, tape here always add a little, it's not the proper measurement, right? So it was just like to give an average of like what would be the size exactly. Unfortunately, yes, there are a couple of things I took. I was super tired when I did that. So a couple of things like it was supposed to be five quarter. However, it was six quarter when I did measurement this. So things change. And uh, also I just replicate everything here with my three quarter plywood here and when i took my measurement from here as an example to here that's another problem you know, like at the beginning i used to have 17 3 8 if my memory is good now i have 17 um and a half the thing is right now it's actually an angle and uh over there i'm always taking my measurement at the max here so yeah same thing for this one. That particular one was actually tricky because I didn't have at the beginning the proper angle. I actually installed that roughly. Now the thing is to have the proper angle on the sheet over there, that was actually quite tricky. Actually, I start with my 36 and a half. That's my bottom, which is gonna be inside this, right? So then I have 16. So here, there's gonna be my drawer, so 16 over here. Then, 358, this used to be 45 degrees. Actually, it was not looking right. Something was glitching to the eyes, so actually, even on, on that one, I actually modify it. So, that thing has been, has been changed. Now, I have 16, 16 and quarter here and that's the other thing when I was arriving here let's say you keep your 45 degree angle right here and you do your mats from let's say I used to have eight just double check eight five eight so let's say you have your 45 degree angle you can see my line over there it was here calculate that from that point another eight and a half and you were arriving here on that line over there and you could actually imagine that was actually the outside so recalculate that push that line over here push the angle over here which make you arrive almost an inch and a half just beside so makes more sense now if you look at it right now i can't i don't know it looks like it that that yeah so that thing also was supposed to be like four, four and a uh, four and four and a half, I think. So it end up uh, been uh, five eight. So that one exactly the same thing. So after I'm doing my measurement, I just actually recalculate that, and at the end, that piece, that piece over here, was actually over here. And I forgot something because that thing I used to have on my plan at eight something. Clearly it was a mistake because it's impossible that would be arriving at eight. Eight would be something around here. So after retaking my measurement, I realized that was actually 15 and a quarter. And um, on the plan, that one actually was eight and a half. So it was much more smaller. And actually I was able to fit that one just beside it doesn't matter because that line has been cut so far right now that one has actually been cut that small one is actually this one right here the big one here is actually the one I'm playing right here 
So that one, I'm just drawing what's going to be done over here. So I still had some space. It's just like over there. I'm just happy this is going to be done. Now, the thing is, I know there's going to be other modifications, like because you never know what's going to happen. I'm going to actually use that, cut it out. This is the big platform and uh, needs to be cut also. So before I'm going to actually create that last cubby over there. I'm going to make sure my measurement is good. I know that thing thickness is actually six and three quarters. It should be good, but um, we'll see for the rest. So that thing, that thing has been cut uh, so far. So that's exactly is one of the pieces. Some way, somehow, I think is actually one of these two guys over there. So yeah. Everything has been marked. So let's say number six, and you've got your your one eight over there plus your six inch, and you got your number there. So I know that piece match to the drawing I have here, and I know if I had need to do some modification like I did, I just go on. Let's say number eight. Number eight is this one which replicate on, let's say, for example, that piece over there. That one is actually number eight, see? So it was, fifth, at the beginning it was eight, so it was arriving here, which was clearly not the pace. So I need to, before I cut it out, I'm happy I didn't cut it out. So I just pushed the line and pushed the line and pushed the line. So yeah, so that's the, that's the tricky part. Uh, I like that it's mats for myself. I like to actually engineers these type of things. Um, but after we bought, I'll show you a little tools. We bought, um, there's a bunch of things here in my father. He's a electronic tech, you know, a couple of, uh, that's a solar guys. That's, that's super nice. That's a, my father creation. I'm not going to play around with that that much, but this is actually uh, maybe tripod over there. Okay. So this is, has been created to put a solar panel over there and it follow the sun. So because we know the sun is actually turning uh, through the day, you just put it on the ground and with this lead, not lead, but this is actually a, a focal uh, sensor. So every time this thing will have, as an example, some shadow, this motor will pivot 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15 degrees, 15 degrees to follow the sun. So you don't need, you're always going to, uh, he's going to be optimized with the sun. So that's going to be very nice. We didn't have the chance to do uh, a little uh a, a little tour over there but if you want one comment below i'll i'll do a, a review on that and give you more explanation about that so that's one of the project my father did and it's actually everything homemade custom made uh with motor and everything so i don't want to go much more in details about that but that's that's the idea now i was coming here exactly for <laughs> I lost my idea. <laughs> ah, the detention disorder is that how they call it? The DHD or the I don't really, I don't remember. That's another radio my father did. Uh, but yeah, that I'm not here to actually do that. I need to come down on the other side. Uh, I'm just looking for my pieces. This is over there. Shoot. <laughs> Pause. All right. I forgot to uh, what I was looking for. It's actually the tools to actually do these cabinet. Uh, we bought the uh, keg uh, on the side drill. So what's going on? It's very nice. Okay. So that's a little clamp. And basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make that, in fact. Okay. So you could actually screw in and 90 degree well this is actually sort of like an angle right so if you drill 
right? So it goes down and it makes the drill like, so after what you do is actually you put your, your, your screws and you just screw an angle. So that's going to be very, very, very nice to actually do those cabinet because you just hold it down like that. Okay. So that's going to be squeezy. You don't want it to, to actually move, but just to show you how it is, um, I'm just going to actually drill very quick. So this is actually something. Okay. Normally you're going to put you, your um, vacuum over there. So it's going to actually uh, remove the dust. Okay. So just did that one right here. Well, you could do as much as you want, but that's the idea, right? So then after just remove that. And boom, you have a hole. Now the thing is that hole is not going all the way through, right? You don't want that, right? Because what's going to happen is actually you're going to put it this way. As an example, like very flush. Like that, right? And you're just going to screw your bit. Well, like your, your, your screw, sorry. Inside that and it's going to connect to that board over there. And it's going to do exactly that. Right, so in angle like this. So that's very, very interesting. That's a little tools. That's from a keg. And uh, I bought myself this beautiful baby over there, DeWalt 20 watt, five amp battery and a charger and everything. Makes everything easier. I know it's a, uh, you know, you could do, you, you could use your regular drill to actually press that hole, but with this, very pleasant. So that's the that's the little tools we bought with other stuff like uh, the hinge is actually piano hinge. Uh, so we'll we'll double check. I need to order maybe something else, but that's the idea.